What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another breaking news story and it looks like the ATB Cup has been cancelled by multiple sources. It's saying that it's been cancelled. It looks like the uh, the quarantine period overlaps with the ATB Cup, which means the tournament cannot be held. Also the fact that 24 nations playing in the one city because all tournaments are coming to Melbourne and staying in Melbourne. That's going to be a little bit of a hassle and a little bit of a tough way to lead into the Australian Open, especially because last year, the ATP Cup went over 10 days in three different cities with, you know, 24 nations. So it's a little bit too much too soon for that tournament to, to slot in before the Australian Open. But there are other tournaments that are going to be played, all going to Melbourne. But let's go through the protocols now, or the uh, the policy that the Australian Open is looking at uh, with players. Okay, so as I said, players are not allowed to enter the country or not allowed to enter Victoria slash Melbourne until January 1st. Uh, we said the other day in a video that between the 5th and the 7th is probably where players are going to uh, probably arrive, you know, spend New Year's at home and then arrive that first week of January. 14-day quarantine period. Now, this is a different thing from what we said last time. They're actually allowed now, the government of Victoria are actually allowing players to train while in quarantine. So it's not a 14-day quarantine locked in a hotel room with nothing to do. They can actually train. So that's a good thing. Uh, Warm-up events are all going to be held in Melbourne. So you've got Hobart, which is a WTA event. You've got Brisbane, which is a WTA event. And also the Adelaide tournament, which is an ATP and WTA tournament, all playing in Melbourne, which is a good thing as well. Keep it in the bubble. Uh, then you've got the Australian Open will be pushed back closer to February. Now, it's, we said it was going to be in February. It might only be a week later now because of the training allowance for the quarantine. So that could be good. Uh, if it's a little bit closer, it means it won't clash with tournaments throughout February. Uh, but it looks like around February. And the ATP Cup, it will join Auckland 2021 as the uh, as the other event that's been cancelled. So Auckland cancelled at the start of October. And now it looks like the ATP Cup is going to join that. So let me know down below in the comments, what do you reckon? Uh, should the ATP Cup be held at another time? Should we hold it later in the year? Did you like the ATP Cup last year? I personally, I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought the fact that it's a team event with points, it actually means something a little bit more than uh, those team events that kind of are just played for your country and played for pride. You got points for wins in the ATP Cup. So I really liked it. Let me know down below if you liked it, but it looks like ATP Cup 2021, it's been canceled.